Hey guys, FHG here, Furry Hippo Gaming. We're looking at some Summoner's Glory Eternal Fire. So when you get to this page, choose your gender, your skin, your color, put in my promo code FHG. That is right, Furry Hippo Gaming. That will allow you to get a free starter pack. We are on server three, Phantom's Glory. Go ahead and join us. Furry Hippo is the guild name we are using. So once you do hit level 20, you can go ahead and enter into the guild. We do have room for you right now, but it is filling up very, very fast. Again, when you start the game, promo code FHG in that box. Let's go ahead and we'll get into the game. Hey guys, FHG here with some more Summoner's Glory. And today we're back to look at gear. So gear is very, very important when it comes to Summoner's Glory. And we're gonna look at a couple different pieces here. So with the equipment, I, I've really been collecting a lot of it, as you can see. So there are actually three specific gear sets that you can get. One is the Tide set. As you can see, this is the one that we have up right now. The extra stats do change. The set bonuses do remain the same. So character crit rate plus 8%, critical strike damage plus 20%, on all our targets. So that is very, very powerful when it comes to the crit. Second set that we look at is the Jade Boots. Again, the extra stats can change and you can change them at the Smith. Looking here, physical defense plus 10%. And also when an ally receives critical damage from the enemy, all allies recover 10% of lost HP, which is very, very good because if you're not carrying a healer in the party, um, the, the Jade Boots can actually give a bonus heal there. Then, of course, we do have the Golden Set, which this is the set that I use. Max hit point plus 8%. All allied takes 15% less damage. So this is more of a tanking set versus a damage set um, that we just seen. So really depending on what you're using or what you're running through, if you need a lot more survivability with the hit points, running a healer, taking less damage, or if you're going for pure straight up damage, such as the Tide Bearer set or the Tide set, um, you can go ahead and get a lot more damage out of there. In addition, there are three different weapon sets. So there's actually a Saber, which I am using right now. The Saber does provide, again, a whole entire a ton of different extra skills, again, depending on the saber that you have. Um, it provides quite a few different extra skills, which are very, very cool. The best one that I found is the frost saber. It actually freezes heroes, but it also gives you different abilities. So looking at my saber here, it is physical attack plus 5,579 physical attack. And sabers are very, very quick with a 420 speed. Then we have the Guard Axe. So the Guard Axe, again, physical attack and speed as well. Not as fast as the Sabres, um, but definitely brings some extra stats as well as HP increased by 20% and then a whole nother set of stats that are in here. Boost increased skill level and change the appearance. So as you're boosting up your weapons here, they're actually gonna change the appearance and they're gonna boost skills. So these skills will actually increase that you see, see here specific to the item. Last one that we have is the Ruby Staff. So staffs, again, now in instead of the Saber's physical attack, the axes which are physical attack, this is actually a whole entire change to the Ruby Staff, which is magic attack. So now this is really a, a whole entire different realm because using staffs, again, they have significantly less speed, but they have a bunch of different things, including more magical defense versus more crit rating of a saber or more physical defense of an axe. So again, having a kind of having a, a couple gear sets that you can swap be, between when it comes to building up the different ones. So as a summoner, you, it means when you change your weapon, you do get a brand new set of skills, which is very, very cool. Ice Dragon Saber is the weapon that helps the most because it has the freeze ability, meaning that enemies are going to go ahead and be completely frozen, which is awesome. Um, Blacksmith is where you can melt down your equipment as well. So looking here, what I personally do is when I'm going through here, reforging or melting down equipment because my bag is always full, I just look at the quality the higher the star level, the more powerful the gear. So essentially there is gray gear, which I'm not sure I have any here. There's actually gray gear that you can get. Then it progresses to our blue gear here, followed by purple gear. And then the best gear is of course the gold gear that you can get out of here. 
And then the, the gold gear is the highest, but it does go to five stars. As of right now, I do not have any five star gear. I am not strong enough to, to farm the five star gear. So since we're looking at four star gear here that I have, I go ahead and take care of all my blue gear. It has very, very low stats. Um, so we'll go ahead and we will smelt that. Boom, all the blue gear is done. As you can see, I do have a considerable amount of gear that we've been kind of stockpiling in here, including some of our orange gear. I'm gonna have to go through and see exactly what sets I want to I want to look at because even looking at the jade gloves here, they have dawn and damage reflection. This pair has fire magic and deliverance. This pair has water power. So some is a water phantom. If I have a water phantom in here, I'll get character increased by 6% for my attack. Again, it's very, very important to look at the gear, look at the stat bonuses that do come onto the gear. Um, even here, having a bunch of different helmets, every single helmet is completely different depending on what you're looking for. So really making the not only the gear sets, but looking at the bonuses that you have on the gear set. If you have gear that is three star and under, there's no need to go ahead and put more stats on it or reforge it. As you can see, I have the plus three here, a plus six here, a plus one here. Really, when you start getting that five star gear, when you start getting further into uh, Summoner's Glory, you'll, you'll be adding more and more essentially to the items that you have when you get the five star gear essentially. So looking here again, this is the set that I've been running because set bonuses I feel are very important as well. So the set bonus that I have been running right here is I run the gold set, which gives me the plus HP and all allies take 15% less damage. This is also very dependent on the phantoms that you're running. For instance, I am running with Lord of Shadow. He is my primary phantom. He is based on hit points when it comes to some of his abilities, meaning that um, the more hit points that you have, essentially, the more damage it's going to do. Summon shadows to attack all four enemies in a row, dealing 33% of the user's max HP, which is, of course, my summoner, with a 30% chance of stunning them for one turn. So the higher that I have with my gold set, with raising my own max HP, will in turn allow him to do more damage because I have more HP, which again, is very, very important. We even have it at uh, level 2, 36, 39, and 42%. So as you increase your max HP, um, my hero is going to do more damage based on the set bonus that I have. So again, make sure that you're paying attention um, to the items that you got, the set bonuses that you're, that you're getting out of there. Um, also looking above and beyond just the physical attack and maybe what it brings, but looking essentially what you get out of the item. So I took this to a plus six. It gave me level two bloodthirst, level two shackle, level two blood steel, and level two bravery. So it gave me a big, big boost in here for the weapon. When I got it up to the level six, when I get it to 12 and 18, it will go ahead and boost those abilities up to the max of level four, making them much, much stronger. But again, if you have three stars or below for gear, do not go ahead and enchant it. There is no reason. It's gear that essentially you're going to replace. When you start getting into more of the end game with the gear, you will actually only have five star gear or four star or five star gear that you'll actually throw your enchantments on to actually build up. Only put a big, big investment in pieces that you know you're going to be focused on and pieces you know you are not going to replace. So really big to note there. Um, this is just a very quick general overview, kind of what I've learned from the equipment um, out of the bag with the set bonuses, all the item bonuses. So very, very cool, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm absolutely still loving this game. Running with my gold set, very, very cool, as well as the saber. I think it is an awesome looking weapon. Even looking here on the axe, you have a giant axe on your back that, of course, we got the staff. Looks, it looks okay, but overall, I do absolutely love how those sabers look. So again, guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.